Hello, I'm John Bell. I'd like to offer you some top tips on giving a speech at a wedding reception. Tip number one. The main purpose of a wedding reception is to celebrate the happy event and to give guests from both families the opportunity to meet and get to know one another. You can create the desired atmosphere through the wedding speeches. Tip number two. Speeches are primarily a way to congratulate the happy couple on their marriage and to give thanks to those who have taken an active part in the proceedings. They are also an ideal opportunity to add humour and fun to what is otherwise a serious event. Tip number three. Find a balance. Speeches should be sincere but also provide an element of entertainment for guests. Delivered correctly, they are an important element of successful wedding and for you giving the speech serves as an opportunity to express your best wishes for the happy couple. Tip number four. Despite having a solemn element, marriages are also meant to be happy occasions so don't get too bogged down in lengthy boring procedures after the official ceremony has passed. Short amusing speeches from the best man, groom and bride's father are more than sufficient for most audiences. If you wish to have more formality, the bride, maid of honour, etc. can be added to the list of those speaking. Tip number five. The running order of speeches is not set in stone, but here are some of the most popular timetables. A. The master of ceremonies or best man calls on the father of the bride to propose a toast to the bride and groom. The bride's father then welcomes the guest before saying a few words about his daughter. B. The groom replies by thanking his parents and normally concludes with a toast to the bridesmaids and the presentation of small gifts to them to show his appreciation. C. The best man then replies on behalf of the bridesmaid and sets the tone for the remainder of the day with a short humorous speech. Tip 6. The ideal length for the total of all the speeches is around 20 minutes. For three speakers therefore the duration of each should be around 7 minutes. Experience has shown that guests will have an attention span of around seven minutes. One or two main points in a talk are ample material for each of the speakers. Tip number seven. It follows that if your speech is to be short, you don't need piles of notes. Trying to remember where you're up to with lots of sheets of paper will cause you unnecessary stress. And that will be increased dramatically if you were to drop the sheets. Tip number eight. A single index card is more than sufficient for a wedding speech. Don't attempt to write down your speech verbatim. Reading a speech is viewed as amateurish. And handwriting easily becomes illegible when standing in the spotlight in front of an audience. Tip number nine. If absolutely necessary, write the odd word or two to aid you. Notes are meant to jog your memory and ensure you don't leave some important point out. Nothing more. Use a large font with different coloured inks if possible to separate different sections of your talk. Tip 10. Speeches normally come after the meal and before the cutting of the cake. Know the place and approximate time in the proceedings when you will be expected to speak. Remember, half of the audience are likely to have no idea who you are, so begin by identifying yourself. Speak clearly and slowly to assist the audience to digest your masterpiece. Remember, they've already digested a substantial meal if it is a formal dining reception. Tip number 11. If of the persuasion, try your utmost not to have more than the odd alcoholic drink before giving your speech. One drink may assist you in helping you relax, whereas two can seriously impair your judgment and overall performance. There is a saying, everyone likes a drink, no one likes a drunk. Tip number 12. Avoid making fun of anything associated with religion or politics, as there is a very good chance someone somewhere in the audience will end up being offended. Tip 13. References that have strong sexual connotations are also taboo. 
The wedding reception ethos is not the same as might be found at the stag or hen night celebration. Stories or jokes that are too rude will make the parents of any children at the reception feel somewhat uncomfortable. Your speech material should be fit to be on a family television programme before 9pm. Tip number 14. The biggest mistake made by those giving a speech is that they try too hard and end up well out of their comfort zone. Be natural. Speak as you do with friends in polite company and, if possible, do it from the heart. Showing you are a caring, emotional person always goes down well with the ladies in the audience. Tip number 15. Providing you don't cause any embarrassment, attempt to include stories that involve guests at the reception. People like amusing stories in which they are included. It is all about building rapport with your audience. Tip number 16. Comment on something that happened at the church or reception and the guests will marvel at your ability to ad-lib and will laugh all the more during your speech. It doesn't need to be side-splitting funny. If they feel part of your humorous observation, their laughter will be loud and often becoming contagious. Tip number 17. If possible, throw off the constraints of a prepared speech by interacting with light-hearted banter. That always comes from a happy and perhaps slightly tipsy audience. Get the tone and pace of your talk right and you will have the audience eating out of your hand. Tip number 18. If you are speaking but not down to give us toast, I have found that a so here's again to the happy couple can be useful in letting the guests know that you've finished and gives them an excuse to have another quick swig of champagne. Tip number 19. The wedding celebration is for your entertainment too. Prepare your material well in advance. Practice and practice again. Get to a point where you feel like you know your material without having to refer to notes. It's not essential to get it word perfect. Relax. Be natural. Don't try too hard. And there is every possibility your speech will be a fantastic success, admired and enjoyed by all. My final tip is tip number 20. In conclusion, a few words of caution. Don't get too carried away when your speech goes down well with the audience and you start believing they want you to go on for a lot, lot longer. You will quickly overstay your welcome and a great speech will become a, well, it was okay, but it went on too long saga. Do your seven minutes. Stop and leave them wanting more. That's it. The end of my top tips. I hope you're wanting more. I wish you a great day and every success with your speech. Bye-bye for now.